because this flower is going to be about this tall. And when it flowers, I want it to either be standing upright or facing out toward you a little bit. I don't want it crunched underneath a bunch of branches. And if it's crunched underneath, uh, someday we'll have satsuki shows where they're judged for flowers. Mm -hmm. And they have it in Japan where they grow them just strictly for flowers. And <coughs> for flowers. So they're judged just like the flower show is. Perfectness of the flower, the perfection, or the nearness to, to species type, and all that kind of stuff. But also, if you're doing it, you want it to fit that own criteria in your yard. You want it to look exactly like it should. You don't want it to flower and have some flowers that are dying on it while others are living and you're supposed to be pruning it when, it's, when the flowers have just reached their peak. Well, these have reached their peak, but this one hasn't even started to bloom. You want it all to bloom at the same time so you can show off. And there is a trick also to that. If they all bloom at the same time. You look at it when, it, when it's starting, the buds are starting to open. And you go in, and when there's three buds, you take out the weak one. Take out the strong one, you leave the middle sized one. You do that all over the tree. When it flowers, it'll go boom. Everything is open at the same time. Here, here is one that's about to bloom up here. I'm going to cut this off. And see, I told you about Satsuki's having. Uh, the new growth around this flower, never cut <coughs> this growth off to show you a flower. Because your flower needs this growth to pull all the nutrients up here to make it true color, to make it true size, and all that kind of stuff. Then when it's finished blooming, you take out this flower <coughs> when it's finished blooming, and you take out all the two the new growths like this. Then before June you come back and you cut this tip out. And that will create two more branches. The next year when you do this kind of pruning like this, after it blooms, then the following year is this kind of pruning. If you had as you can see, this year we only had one cut. Next year we have, at this summer we have one, two. So our one has doubled. <coughs> Next year when you do this other cutting like this and take re removing the unnecessary ones, you're going to have one, two, three, four times what you had to cut two years, a year ago. So if it took you an hour to <coughs> cut a year, Cut it back a year ago, it's going to take you four hours to cut it back this year. 